I'm not far from Marlborough. I, I love this country. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, not far from Marlborough. I'm within the boundary of one of the boundaries of the Savernac Forest, the medieval forest, the royal forest. And also on the boundary of the early medieval Anglo-Saxon charter of Little Bedouin. And I'm at, at uh, Knoll, Knoll House, Knoll Farm. Uh, which was in, uh, in uh, around about 1290, I think, was La Knolle. And also Knolle Juxta Chisbury, which is, um, we're going to do um, Chisbury, hopefully we'll get there in the end. Um, it, should be a, it should be about a six mile walk uh, today. And it's, it's, I'm going to be combining those two charters, the, well, the perambulation, the forest perambulation and the Anglo-Saxon charter to see if there's some sort of insight it can give us about the landscape today, plus the insight of using my own eyes in the landscape today. And uh, we'll see how we get on. What you should uh, be seeing on your screen now is uh, Putts Hall and in the Anglo-Saxon Charter of Little Bedwin it is, hold on, it is Putan Erch which means Puta's Hollow and that developed, that sound, the, the, the name didn't change but the meaning uh, developed over the years to become that Erch is Hauch in um, in Old English, which means hollow, not hall at all. So the the name pretty much stayed the same over 1500 years, um, but its meaning changed to the hall of Put. But that isn't its real meaning. It's 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 where two two words converge, sort of in the medieval period, and the original meaning is lost. But its original meaning is that the hollow Putter's hollow. Kutaz Hollow and uh, interestingly next to that farm is, um, is a village called Henset and um, that is uh, a dead village, it's a medieval village that died out, it's just, um, just lumps in the ground now but it's uh, the English Place, Place Name Society can't think of a meaning for Henset or the name Henset because they don't know where Henset is and, and, and we do, we do know where Henset is, it's on the, um, the OS map next to Hen, Hen's Wood so it's pretty much confirmed so I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to give it a go uh, try to uh, translate what Henset might be um, so Hen is wild bird or male cock bird and Set is um, the dwellers, the, the, the uh, so Henset is the dwellers where the wild birds are. That's my, uh, that's one interpretation. There, I'm sure there's others, um, but that's uh, I'll go with that. Uh, considering the English Place Name Society has abdicated its responsibility with this one, I'm going to go with it. The uh, I'm in another hollow here, and this is um, Horse Hollow. And in the um, in the Anglo-Saxon Charter, that is horse hell yet, um, and in another uh, charter is uh, horsel yet, uh, and it means the hollow, the gate of the hollow of the horse or the horses. Um, that actual mark, that landmark, is about a mile or so that direction, 
but here we have Horse Hall Hill. Um, and there is a hill that you can take all the way to that last landmark. Um, so uh, we can't necessarily say that this hollow here, this valley, well a hollow is like a nook, it's a, it's a small valley, it's a nook where you can get in there and be, you know, all, um, uh, have privacy and uh, quietness. Uh, this is much more like a dean, but it's, uh, uh, so what you might have had is a hill named after the horse hollow, a mile down there, and then uh, the hill named after it, and then an ex the, it was seen that that hill extended down here, and they named this farm here as Horse Hall Hill, um, uh, which is another nice remnant of, a, of an early medieval name.